and we are now here on to our last ball for our group B and it is going to be in the land of San Hawk. We have been able to witness every single thing that has been uh, experienced here with all of our teams at group B and I guess it's just about time that we have to look at the updated scoreboards for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, without a say. We gotta do meta ladies you're on top <laughs> with 61 that is a crazy number to leave behind a few teams even if they sit out for this round i think they would still successfully make it through to the finals but of course not disregarding other teams that who have tried and fought their best wills which is atg artemis and then roy ladies esports at number three grim sapphire at number four and mystique uh, living up to the name of what they did this morning with 19 at number five luna juicy wow they are a family they came together <laughs> 69 mm -hmm. at number 7 of Juicy and AI Huntress at number 8 and that is the scoreboard. So of course it's not too late for these teams to actually farm kills, right Mochi? Yeah, and I guess my ladies will be able to do that once again unless there is an outside force that acts up to it. That's pretty similar to the law of inertia, but this might, that might also be a law for this game. But this is going to be the flight path for the land of San Juan. It's quite interesting because we are seeing someone uh, at the upper left archipelago here. And it seems like it's going to be onto them. I mean, the whole area is on to them and the rest of the people here will be heading towards already here at that uh the paradise etc but uh it's going to be quite near against with each other and there might also be some uh threats in terms of gatekeeping considering that our circle as at the bottom part of our map Woohoo, yep, look at that. <laughs> a lot of these teams are gonna scream, have to do a little bit of scrimmages coming into this. Uh, and again, I'm seeing the same fight over in the area near Hati. I'm not sure why the ladies today decided to pick a fight here. Is it? Do they like this place or something? Because we have the same fight earlier in the early match in the previous group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. What? Oh no, there's going to be a problem for Maxi though. Like, she's down below, and everyone's already hunting for her, like a fish in yeah. this river. <laughs> a big fish to be caught. Uh. Yeah, but unfortunately for. I, I think ATG is the one that is currently caught there. Uh, mm -hmm. But Mystic will probably just. Walk prioritize looting at this point of time and we get hunted unfortunately for that but here we go we're just looking into them listening to each other's steps and compose themselves if they can here and they can push if they want to but of course this is the early stages we can see rank c rank c here already have flanked out over in the open areas of the greenery um but alia is actually caught up in everybody else so hoping for maxi what happened to you why did you fall down maybe maybe she realized that hey, so everybody's crashing here so i cannot be here and the only way for her to be surviving is just by swimming near the rock so that can actually give her mm -hmm. a bit of that defense wall from other teams but of course if this is if a juicy on the other side decided not to look upon her if if, if they do then she would be the first one to get sacrificed because that's the only team that's giving her the threat as of now yeah, and actually they can uh, uh survive that or rather they can just relocate their spaces but the rest of the team is not near her so i guess that's going to be a problem but at the same time she can serve as like a scout like what you've said the boot camp is already available for them there are a couple more mini villages that they can actually go into at least get some items i mean not items that can last long but for the meantime it would definitely be beneficial for them if ever they'll be having some stones but now it's still the same thing it's going to be a problem here for some of our members here from the side of ATG artemis considering that they're quite too far from one another it's going to be quite difficult if ever that they'll be seeing someone uh suffering like they want to be able to save one another and it seems like someone here from mystique is already keeping an eye out for maxi like they don't want to give maxi a break Yep. 
<laughs> Maxi will get gunned down and uh, she can't go anywhere and look at her life. Uh, she will definitely be the sacrifice first, at least for now. We know that's going to happen. I really wonder on how the teams are going to rotate this time because the cycle is not on them. So they got to prioritize rotating also to come in and get yeah. the best place first. But still, these two teams are not going to go away that easy. They're still going to pressure fire each and everybody. Nobody is going to push. Well, at least Mystic, they have reformed the group. They want to do like a little bit of pushing cake. We can see that they are pretty much settled down in the sense of they are guarding each other's backs. Uh, but of course, ATG got to do something because they're not going to get off. So they're just still pointing out exactly as to where they can get those things done. done. And of course, maybe because Maxi is also crying for help. Like, hey, can you just bring these people down because they're right in front of me? But you know what? Who else is smelling the guns here? It's AI, Huntress. Ah. They are on the hunt here. They heard the gunshots. They decided to, you know what? We we got the perimeters. Let's go and find what's going on. And they can be the third party. But here we go. The space will happen here. Rexy will not get away. Will she? She will. So Stella managed to land a few shots. Definitely hit the buggy. Definitely giving the buggy a damage and Still trying to hit onto her. So now it's a third party of fair fight. Very good fight here. It's being put up here by the AI Huntress. AI Huntresses are just pushing forward in order to secure anyone who would be uh who they will be able to meet up with. But the rest of the players here from the side of ATG and uh Mystic, they haven't been able to do their job, or rather, they haven't been able to and their story as of the moment the rest are trying to get away from the same area as ai huntress has been able to push through while some of the players here are still at the houses or the nipa huts that they currently have but at the same time there's going to be a struggle for them if ever they decided to they decide to leave it is such an, an open area with only the grasses and the trees serving them as coverage yeah there you go but yeah, these are the teams that wanting to get that first blood or the first few team who wants to, you know, get them wiped down back into the lobby. But nobody is giving an answer yet. But look at all these teams that is currently in the circle. They're like, hey, you know what? I don't care, including Mata. They probably can hear the shots from the distance, but they don't bother to, you know, to participate the fight. They're just going to say, hey, I'm going to gut you from coming in. So, mm -hmm. yep, these two teams, they got to do the pushing right now. Ew! Just in time, she closed the door. But the door is no longer a door. <laughs> <laughs> it's already uh, destroyed entirely but yeah. this is such a close encounter between these two teams like they haven't been able to get away from one another because if ever they will be uh, they would do so oh, then yeah. AI hundreds will be able to catch up onto them just like what happened the kill feed seems like there's already a couple of members being put down here on the side of ATG Artemis and they're currently having a difficult time like they're trying to uh, go for the response ever that they try to do so it will be definitely still a problem because AI hundreds is just on the guard like you know what try and go revive your team and ever you'll be doing so then you're also gonna be dead but Rang C will be the first one to be seen from the distance. So she'll get, she'll be the first blood. Nobody will try to um, revive her. It's too risky. But you know what? Roy is also the next one to come in this engagement. We heard a lot of gunshots. Mm -hmm. And since they are around the area, why not just rotate this area and try to see what they can fish out from? But even AI Huntress, they decided to push. Now they are rethinking their choices. They can't do the push that well because they realize that, hey, you know what? Um, the areas that they got they can't really do a beautiful push unless they have a vehicle because i think none of them had a vehicle uh they all ran oh wait one of them had a vehicle so if they can push through with one vehicle with the confidence i think they can but it seems like the igl says you know what let's just proceed with the circle we're just gonna ignore this we're gonna get keep them when they're coming in but maxi how in the world she get a v how did she get a gun how did she get a gun <laughs> yeah, actually, that's also what I'm thinking right now. How did she get got the gun? I don't know. Use to just kill someone. But uh, other than that, some of the members here decided to trap this already, be able to uh, destroy another team from ESFM, and now they're currently struggling with the rest of the people here on the side of ATG. And ES Mystique is trying to uh, disengage and venture further 
rather than what's happening from earlier on. Now we're going here the current situation of Trap and even Grimm's uh, Myanmar and Indonesia because earlier on they managed to put a couple of members down here on Grimm's but mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure how they are doing right now. Yeah, it's not really looking good at all uh, because we're looking into Trap here and looking into using their name to trap uh, Grimms. Uh, looking into the vantage point, I think they have an advantage uh, overseeing Grimms. But Grimms are carefully placing their men or the ladies over into position and they're not going to uh, fire at all for now. But the circle, it seems like it's going to close greatly into the south side. Uh, looking into where Mata is would be a beautiful spot because it's a vantage point over in the area of where Mata is in the hills of Painan. Uh, now looking into AI Huntress who will proceed into the circle and they will just go in deeper and deeper as we speak but i'm exactly thinking and i'm, I'm actually rethinking my choices as, as to where the circle might just close in initially i thought it was a south but no it's actually going to be a mm -hmm. quite a scab circle nobody knows exactly where the circle would go as uh, looking to the portions here but i got a feeling it will still be more on towards the mainland of it of, of uh, Sanhok, the big island itself where mata is where ai is trap is in grimes is in and i think grimms have already got one of the target here and they're trying to end this player but not possible because there is a rock right in front so it's going to be a long process uh for this it's not a trade-off because someone will come in to do a revival for her but shots are still coming in Ooh. another one goes down looking into this trap i really like how grimms have placed the ladies because they managed to get even though they are outnumbered the attack from behind they've been caught off guard just the snake at the grass they've been able to inflict that much venom and now some of the players here have decided grims or rather the side of uh what do you call this the side of mm -hmm. yep just... yeah the trial has already been eliminated but now mm -hmm. There's already a couple more players here from Grim still entirely operating on their own. They managed to go for the chase as well. But still, that would just mean that they have more uh, areas that they have to cover as well as the fact that they have to survive this one despite of losing a couple of members on their end. Like, despite of the good positioning, it's still going to be risky because this is just early in this match. And also, I would like to point out that I'm not accustomed to Mata ladies being so low-key right now. They didn't get any kills. They're just in the safe ground. They're just chilling. And uh, as far as we may recall, is they're just at the quarry area or the between the quarry and the boot camp area. So they're just gonna be chilling there. Yeah, they're just uh rotating already right now though. Yeah, I think they are just uh, you know, taking their time, giving themselves a little break. They had a tough job earlier on to get a lot of shots over but now they're just doing a little bit of reset chilling a little bit more uh they've gotten themselves ready you can see that they're doing a gatekeep over in the pine and hills that's actually quite a good place to be in and now we can mm -hmm. see the circle has shown itself it's still in the main island of Sandhawk. So, people in Cori, they don't have to worry. Oh, that, that's a rhyme. <laughs> they don't have to worry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, create a pun there. But, uh, I'm not sure about Luna nor the team that is right below them. But if it does go to them, then they will be the, the, the lucky ones who are currently in the other island. But you can see that the circle currently compromises more on towards the main island. Also, at the same time, I'm kind of also teaching the viewers how to read the circle. I shouldn't do that. Damn, that's a tactic. No. <laughs> but no, you guys didn't hear what I said. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully it goes into this part because a whole lot of teams are here. And even if it does going to go into the scam where you gotta go to the other island i don't know the rotation is gonna get really messy and looking how meta has already spread out in that particular hill it will definitely create another farming for meta again i mean they already have two rounds of uh, eliminating the entire lobby like half of the lobby is in their hands so i'm not gonna see another fight that is gonna be the same thing now that's gonna be boring come on guys turn it up a bit uh, ladies we can fight them don't worry it's just another team come on show us that you can bring down meta what is going to stop meta right now hmm yeah, that's actually a tough question because to be <laughs> honest, from what we have witnessed from the land of Erangel, they didn't flinch. 
regardless of having five teams in front of their faces, it's fine. Like, they didn't even care. They just sorted it all out. You know what? Okay, let me prioritize this team down here because they're just the only one here. So let me secure the kill. Oh, there's another one that we're back. So let's go and <laughs> go ahead for that one. I mean, you know, they, they tried to simplify it so much in a way that it doesn't seem a threat at all for them, regardless of having a lot of teams surrounding them. So I guess that would be another, uh, what do you call this? Another factor that makes mana ladies really unformidable like they're undefeated so far mm -mm. yep i totally agree with you mochi uh they're just laying down here but right now i think they're trying to reread the circle that's why we are seeing nene oh trying to reposition herself somewhere a bit lower portion of the pinan hills uh we are hearing footsteps they are getting this is a team uh of Luna and Juicy getting very close to one another. Although Luna is parked beautifully up on the hillside, uh, Juicy is just uh, currently down under, just waiting for the steps to happen here. But wow, this is actually a family reunion, you know. Even Mystic mm -hmm. is on the other island. So it's the entire S family had that rotation on the other part of the island. We got the Juicy, we got Luna, and we got Mystic, and they are in order. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's at the same area and even in order. Really interesting. Oh, but imagine if the circle was not on their area though. But imagine if it would be in their area. Like everyone's gonna be rushing towards that and they'll be gatekeep because uh -huh. everyone from the side of ESFM was already in there and all they had to do is to uh practice prep themselves up for the upcoming range that mm. might the other teams might uh give them. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, looking into meta, how cleverly they already have got information and they did not push. They're going to reposition themselves, getting the information across, already confirmed that, hey, there's a squad down here, which is AI Huntress. So they're going to, you know, beautifully open up themselves and realize that they're going to catch them during their vulnerable areas or vulnerable, being vulnerable for AI Huntress. And then they will proceed with the fight because Bum Bum definitely saw more than one uh, of the members here. There you go. You can see the mini map. They have opened up and they're gonna fight together Ooh. one person has gone down now going for the second one and now the only person that can reset is the last person which is mira at the very end of ai huntress while the rest of them are going to run like mad and now the shots are coming in but it's not going to be the end because they're probably going to get two. Uh, fires were shot a bit earlier. They could have recomposed maybe a little bit more uh, to get the entire squad over. But here we go. Meta with a little bit of competition. I think this is what they like. But being sprayed also. Bamba Ooh. being spotted again by Mira who has already flanked out very smartly of her. She has left the team but flanked out very big. Uh, a big flank here that we can see happening onto the screen. Uh, but that's not the end because Nene will just come closer and closer into the people that is currently in the warehouse. Madali is being methodical and upright as ever. The aggression is really driving all of their uh, enemies nuts. Like even if that they try to go away, they have no choice because they're just being continuously being pushed by the side of Mata ladies. And now Ooh. they're like what you said. They have they still have these players alive, but at the same time, it'd be pretty difficult for them to go for a reset considering that they're out in the open. But look at this. It seems like uh, some of our members here from the side of Mata ladies will decide to disengage, and it seems like they'll be rotating at the upper portion of power circle, uh, in hopes of gatekeeping some any any uh teams that might be coming in potentially mm -hmm. but so far they're quite spread out so i wonder how it's going to, to turn out yeah you know uh <laughs> i can't help but to chuckle looking into s family they are like a family yeah. moving together and they're not contacting <laughs> but here we go luna luna will be the one the stepsister who will try to bring down first but mystic is saying no i am right behind you i can see you too so now they will start to realize we are a family by the kill feed but they can't team up because this is professional gameplay and we will see one another a family affair will have a dispute this point of time between luna and mystic that's gruesome. Families murdering each other. But look at this. You're seeing. I'm just being able to pull 
pop off here. I mean, there's going to be the choice between the two sides. One more Remedy Pearson uh, surviving here on the side of the Mystic. It is going to be Nika. Everyone's just rushing over in order to go for the revive. Uh, rather, there's a couple of more of them uh, still living, but still definitely going to be difficult for them to actually advance further, considering that they had to go for a reset after being revived. So that would just mean a lot more time being consumed on their hands. But at the same time, look at this. Roy, one of their members already put down here from the side of Mana Ladies. Now it's already their chance to throw all of the smokes that they currently have in order to give them uh, better coverage, at least prohibit some information being leaked out from their end. But Mana Ladies seems like gonna push them forward and seems like there is going to be a third party here. Yeah, and we are hearing the grenade party uh, coming from Roy. Now, this is a fight that Meta can definitely show what they are made of because initially they were guarding and then they know that, hey, I can take a fight at a time. Now, they have to take two teams at one time. We are seeing Grims over at this corner and then it is at Grims. No, sorry, ATG over in this corner and then we've got Roy who's trying to push into Meta. But Meta is still composed. In fact, one of them have their eyes right straight onto that and there you go, Cosmo very sneakily at the same time dodging the bullets but not able to do the full contrast here and she will go down but that's not going to be the end there will be a re re a revival going on or not and bam bam has already deployed the smokes right on time uh, when the teammate went down but nope cosmo will go down because of the molly and then uh, we have two more now roy will come out with a fight they have been frustrated ever since you know it wrangled and then after that was mirama they didn't have a good fight now this is a time where they can really fight between these three great teams the circle has already shown itself and the current uh people that is in the circle i would say is juicy as family they managed to get into it and they are currently guarding it alone but it's not over for atg because they have definitely got information exactly as to where meta is now we can see on how meta is going to guard their grounds because they have to think about coming into the circle also none of them are in the circle they've got to eliminate one another before coming in they're actually spreading it out already like everyone was just trying to disengage from the fight they're cooling themselves down but at the same time if ever they will be able to land some shots from the other or to the other side that will be much better because they will be able to gather themselves some kill points but look at this by the uh kill field we'll be seeing some eliminations here from uh i didn't see which team it is i i think it's grims and we'll be seeing some casualties from roy and at the same time nene will be killed here from madalise which will be leading them to two more people surviving one waiting for a revive but we'll be seeing to go for that trade and that's a good exchange here that's happened between the two sides mm -hmm. of adeg Artemis as well as Mata because they've been able to put up a fight against each other but yep. at the same time they are running out of and they have to go into the circle if they don't want to get any more of those damage from the blue zone yeah but bam bam will just wait for a bit and uh, she definitely can see the atg player coming in too and the fires are coming in also but it's very smart of nene who has already kissed the perimeters earlier on so she mata has already guarded one person in the circle so no matter what happens if the fight did not happen for mata at least they already have one person already guarding the perimeters and now it's up to grims to do the backstab here who come in into the game at a very late affair they have been doing good gameplay so far uh even though they are outnumbered now this time they they are in pain because this is circle number six if you don't yeah. have enough first aid you can't come in now it's up to bum bum to spray down with the dbs and it's such a distance she's going to do another dbs and managed to do Ooh. a double clutch what a wonderful highlight that was from bum bum wow amazing <sighs> And that would just lead to Grimms being fully eradicated just by one woman. The myth, the legend. Oh my gosh, Bam Bam going for the Bam Bams, literally. But now there's going to be another encounter here between the two sides of ES Bam as well as some of uh, other uh, clashes is happening here between Mata Lady as well as AI Huntress. But so far, it is still quite of a problem because everyone's already at the upper area. But the problem here mm -hmm. for E is uh, what they call this mystique is that they're at such an open ground and it is quite lower. But let's see if they will be able to land some shots. Yes, indeed, but still not entirely enough to actually kill someone. And they just made themselves known of their position right now. So that's going to be a problem. Yeah, problem indeed. And they have to re 
said with a lot of things here in mind, knowing that the zone is already in everybody's favor, is how they're gonna eliminate one another. And already seeing another one in the screen again for Meta. They are doing the killing spree one more time with five elimination points in Sandhawk. That's amazing. That's a good number in Sandhawk. Still guarding the perimeters now. Focus fire onto AI Huntress, who managed to dodge their way into from the warehouse and now finally coming into the point here. But Mata is going to do a push with the DBS in hand. I hate that gun, but it's so hard to say. And now the entire AI Huntress went down because of that DBS. Bum Bum definitely knows how to use this gun very well. She's definitely mastered it before. Um, and now utilizing whatever she's having and of course now Mata of all people having the vantage point Aish. Uh, but Mystic is right hand in hand right beside Juicy again this is like a siblings rivalry here the middle syndrome the middle child has gone back to the lobby which is Luna <laughs> and honestly this is how they are positioned in the, in, in the format you know in the lobby it's Luna yeah. and then goes to Ju Juicy and then Luna and then Mystic so you know, Luna went back first now. It's between the siblings Ooh. and you know what? The elder will get them first. So Mystic will go out. Juicy has to obtain the name for S family. But ATG says, no way I'm going to shoot you from coming into the circle. Yeah, and that's a lot of shots actually being landed here by Alex. But Alex has been caught off guard here with some of the members here for the side of Mata. Ladies Frozen is able to put her down. You'll be seeing another player here to guess it's that no chance against the remaining members here for the side of Mata. Ladies, they're now here outside of the blue zone, thinking of the right way in order to get out of that area uh, but it would be such of a difficult thing everyone just starting all of the locations possible here and they are not seeing anyone and they have a really good guess of where they are and that would be it they'll be dying outside of the blue zone with mad ladies trying to hunt them down these women are so aggressive as ever and still as an able secured the third win winner chicken dinner for this series Crazy. Yeah, man. It's Mata all the way. So, Mata fans out there, this is the time where you cheer because they got themselves three chicken dinners in this group. So, oh, they yeah. are the masters of this group, obviously. Uh, but at least for Juicy, uh, they tried to stay alive doing a little bit of the healing game, but it was a little bit too late to give uh, out the first aid. So, that's the reason why they couldn't proceed. Even though if they can't proceed, it's fine. They still get a number two with a, a good uh, survival points with two eliminations. ATG had a good fight. We did see them coming back at least for uh, the map of Sandhawk with four elimination points. Mystique uh, living up to their name over the earlier tournament that they had over in the official of uh, PUBG Mobile with four, sorry, five elimination points. AI Huntress also coming right back at ya with two elimination points at number five. Trap with two elimination points at number six. And then Grims at number seven with four elimination points. Roy at number eight with one. And last but not least is of course Luna with zero elimination points at number nine. Oh, that is one heck of a run that we have just witnessed here from the past few games that we have here at the Group B. And it seems like they've been able to prep themselves up. And now it's already the end of this series. And they've been able to prove themselves, show their true colors, like what they said, and been able to establish their name up there just to give us an impression of who they are, really. And wow, I can't wait if we'll be uh, part of our playoffs tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's definitely going to be quite scary. I think the ladies that actually watched the live stream, they would know that their biggest threats is probably Mata. And maybe some of these teams would actually do homework and try to find uh, where Mata would be and mm -hmm. would try to eliminate them first. I don't know because some teams, they, when it comes to grand finals, they will have tricks up their sleeves to eliminate their biggest threat. And honestly, right now, looking into Group A and Group B, the biggest threat is still Mata because they got themselves three back-to-back -back chicken dinners and none of them, they actually get into the circle easily. Uh, yes, maybe they got the first few circles into the circle. I remember in Wrangle how they got out of the circle and then got back in. It was not easy. So we can definitely see the skill sets being displayed here by the ladies of Meta from Thailand. So they are definitely a big threat for tomorrow's finals. 
Yeah, and let's see if they'll be consistent in doing so because like we have said, this is going to be the merge of the top right between the two mm -hmm. groups. And we have witness of how aggressive the uh sided glimpse of Astera is. Uh what they call this. There's another team that is just quite new and that is a range, right? Yeah, Rage, mm -hmm. Unleash, Sassy, and as well as uh, IHC Goddess, who has been able to, like, what we have mentioned from earlier, yeah. they got back from the dead. And we are the <laughs> welcome to the rest of the other teams here, uh, which is definitely mm -hmm. Mata Ladies, Royal Ladies, Esports, and uh, just two more people, which is possibly AI Huntress or ATG Artemis. I mean, they've been able to establish themselves out there as well as Grim Sapphire, but we'll be seeing more of that later, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm just wondering on the scoreboard right now, and of course, to know who are the top, I would say, nine teams that actually made it through uh, for, wait, top 10 teams that made mm -hmm. it through for tomorrow's finals because looking at how they have been performing today, uh, astonishingly, coming from all the representative, they have showed us a good game um, and knowing that some teams just finished a tournament and yet they're still playing, so they have themselves like how many rounds of games, games already today yeah. in the morning for a PUBG GM. So that's crazy. And of course, of course we would like to thank all the participants who have joined in and unfortunately did not make into finals uh, it's okay you guys can always try it out another time over in PUBG M FSL open ladies so yes. uh, it's not the end just keep training and then of course we've supported right now you know with the official tournaments for ladies that's uh, definitely a big uh, statement you know, FSL has been around for a while and now that a few of these mobile platforms has already turned into ladies for official games. So I think this is definitely a very big chance uh, for the ladies out there who, you know, are gamers. You know, usually gamers are always looking to one-sided. But hey, now we have official games to look upon to. So we are not the minorities. We have become you guys now. So these are the real players that we are seeing today. At least the ones that hold the title for the rounds. That we've seen so far me and mochi i think we would, we would probably agree with mata ladies yes definitely i mean even uh our what do you call this our behind the stage staffs are actually uh eager to actually see how mad the ladies perform like mm. we even did the mats right like if ever yeah. they got these skills though they can get a hundred like similar yeah. to that it just it's just really astounding to actually see these players uh give themselves some recognition through how they actually play uh mm. exhibit all their decision making skills and how they were able to do their modern mechanical skills up to the test and been able to even coordinate with one another i mean it would be pretty easy if it is going to be done individually individually but it is going to be a per squad that we're talking about here so there's a lot of stuff that you have to consider with regards to how you'll be able to coordinate with one another and especially how you'll be able to adjust into each other's play styles like there's just a lot of stuff to consider in general and it makes us happy to see that these ladies are already putting themselves out there even for the longest times and even for the new bloods and hopefully it seems like we are having a really bright future for these ladies this time. Yeah, definitely. Of course, we are still uh, tally, uh, doing the points. We are counting so that we know no mistakes at all. Because this event will be not be fully, um, you know, what you see right now. You know, we won't be here because mm -hmm. of Intel and Yahoo. Of course, a shout out to them. And of yeah. course, the platform to play is PUBG Mobile. And of course, this event is definitely done by FSL. You know, you know about PUBGM Open Ladies, you know that it's FSL. So it's always FSL, FSL, FSL when it comes to the ladies competition of PUBG Mobile. Uh, of course, if you guys are curious to, to know more about us, especially the casters, Mochi, you can hit her up in her own um, socials, which is in the description similarly to me we can follow each other we are covering a lot of PUBG Mobile and of course uh, we will see each other most of the time in FSL so yeah. those of you who are still interested do keep a watchful follow them in Facebook and FSL to know when is the next registration for PUBG Mobile because it's an open uh, category meaning you can mm -hmm. just come in and then qualify yourselves into the Grand Final of course what is that uh, for us in Grand Final Mochi what's the price well for our prizes for tomorrow well, definitely that would be 500 uh $500 for the first place we also have 250 for our second place and for third place we have 175 and for our fourth place we have 75 dollars awaiting them so all they have to do is to make it in the top five to make it worth it themselves and 
that will actually give them all the bragging rights and even the cash. Like, make it rain, right? Make it rain. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? Let's go to the scoreboard and let's see how a day had done for the previous round for Group A. Let's go. Oh, there you go. This is the final standings for Group A, and what we've got. Oh my God, the points. Hmm, we're seeing some forty-four points here from Range Unleashed Sassy and Glimpse of Asteria. And oh, this is a tie. Okay, interesting. We also have yeah. IUC Goddess on to 38 points, Astra Esports for 35, and Four Changers Esports uh, for 33. And these five teams would be able to give themselves a chance uh, to play for our playoffs tomorrow. And the rest of the teams will be waving themselves bye bye. But also, let's give them a rundown. Hero Zero K with 28, as um, Alley Cats with 24, a, a Stronghold Savior with 16, and DVD Rubbies with 6. Uh huh. So, this is like the teams that we represent from Group A. Now, going into Group B, here we go. These are the top five teams that will proceed tomorrow. You will see wow. Mata Ladies with <laughs> 87, 87, bro. <laughs> That's a different point from the previous group, but That's a different uh, at least breed. the previous. Yeah, at least the previous group, I think there was a fight because it was a draw 44-44. So the points was very different. But of course, uh, domineering and dominating is obviously Mata Ladies with 87. ATG Artemis with 36 from Philippines. Yes, Femi Mystique from Malaysia with 32. Mm. Make it through the next round also. Grim Sapphire Indonesia with 25. And last but not least is another Femi. So Juicy also Sheesh. make it through for tomorrow. So there's still the family... Um, to prove Sisters. who is better, is it the <laughs> you know the, the the elder or the 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 younger sibling? Yeah, this is I mean looking into the how how they are placed today. I'm not sure who came first in the lineup, but uh, in and how they were placed today in the lobby, it was Juicy Luna and then Mystic. So I'm looking Mystic as you know the youngest and Juicy is the eldest. This is just a joke, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, there's going to be the top 5 teams, or rather the top 10 teams we'll be seeing tomorrow for our playoffs. And I can't wait what's gonna about uh, what's gonna go down tomorrow, as well as the fact of what's waiting for us to see. Because this is going to be quite of an interesting chemistry between them. It might be an explosion, it might be uh, much uh, timid than expected, we're not quite sure. But yeah, I guess that concludes the day for uh, this. PUBG Open number two for FSL Mobile Games. Yep, and definitely we would like to thank all the participants who have uh, come in and tried it out. It's not the end, of course. Roy had a lot of supporters. They dearly yeah. had a good fight. Unfortunately, because of Mirama, we saw what happened in Mirama. If they did not drop in in that area, I think they would you know have a good elimination point still at the end of it so mm -hmm. unfortunately they, did, they will not be joining us tomorrow similarly to dbd who had three bad rounds you know they, they keep on meeting collid, having a collision yeah. after collision with another team to another so um it's it doesn't say that hey this is a better team that's a worse team no it's it's just based again pubg mobile sometimes is also based on luck so mm -hmm. if you don't get the circle and how you rotate and how you fight it out especially in the early games yep but that's it we are we might be wrapping this up real quick already. We will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same page. Bring your family, bring your friends uh, to share the stream. Right, Mochi? Yes, definitely. It is going to be a Sunday tomorrow. So that would just mean this is your rest day. And it is very, it would be great. And it would be uh, such an honor for us to uh, have you with us tomorrow. Considering it's going to be the player for our PUBG um, Open to for FSO. Once again, I am going, I am Mochi and I am with Sis Jenny. And we are going to be resting. And I hope you guys will do as well. Eat your, uh, what do you call this, snacks already because it's already after. Afternoon. It's almost going to be evening and hope you'll be staying safe in your homes and see you tomorrow. <laughs>